Hello and welcome back to Nerf This Patch. Um, <clears throat> we finished our fantasy draft yesterday, and uh, or two days ago, and it went really well. And uh, after a long day of football yesterday, I am really excited to talk about games, and I don't really want to waste any time. I just want to get right into it. Alright, we're going to get into it. So right now, at my clock, it is 12.20, and the Cyberpunk review embargo lifted 20 minutes ago. And I want to be very clear real quick. I've never cared. I have never, ever ever cared about being right i've cared about games getting the best recognition they can to be successful i was right about this game i told you i told everybody people need to calm down on their expectations for cyberpunk 2077 or this game's just going to get eaten alive and so far it has been eaten alive i'm looking at review i want to read a couple of reviews that i'm just seeing i didn't read all of these but i'm reading the headline just the headlines alone on Cyberpunk 2077's reviews. All right, PC Gamer, a dazzling open world that's coming apart at the seams. Vice Games, despite the cynical transgressive edge Cyberpunk tries to pull off, it's a very straight and straight-laced game. Motherboard, Cyberpunk 2077 is a game of the past and its forgotten futures. GameSpot, Cyber 27, Cyberpunk 27 has standout side quests and strong main characters, though its buggy, superficial world and lack of purpose brings it down. Steven Totillo, Cyberpunk impressions from our reviewers' first three hours of the game. He loves The Witcher 3, but this one's just, and I quote, okay so far. Uh, Adam, I don't even know this guy's name, reading a Cyberpunk 27 review. The incorporation of different cultures and backgrounds is wildly inconsistent from good to inaccurate to downright offensive. Polygon, uh is dad rock, not new waves. Open world game does not exactly have a futuristic worldview. These are not my reviews. I don't have an opinion on the game, to be honest with you. I want to play it because I don't really believe in making an opinion out about uh, making an opinion about a game until you've actually played it. I'm looking at you, Last of Us 2 review bombers. But the problem that I had was right. You know what was the same thing about all of those headlines? They all had a backhand to them. There was never just this game does all of these right. Games that do very well, games like Hades, any of the Game of the Year nominees, most of them don't have negative things in their headline. This game, all of them did. And I was so worried about this. I didn't want this game to fail. I wanted this game to be tens across the boards. I wanted the argument that this was going to be game of the year over The Last of Us. I said that in my games of 2020 I do and don't trust. I said that in the Game Awards video. I wanted this game to be a masterpiece. I know that so many hours went into this. I know that so many people put their heart and soul into this. Everybody make, kept making fun of the delays, but I understood why they did them. This is bullshit. This is exactly why you don't put too much hype into your game. This is why the people who like rose this to be something bigger than it was, I was upset with. I said, just let it be and we'll see what happens. I promise you, these reviews would be better if people didn't hype this game up the way they did. It's, it's absurd. It really is. I'm really sad about it. Now, the reviews aren't horrible. It's still sitting on a 91% on Metacritic. I expect that number to go down, unfortunately. But... This is a shame. I wanted this game to get the recognition. This much hype behind the game that didn't need to be there. It's not like the mark. Everybody talks about, oh, that was just great marketing. No. The problem was that everybody saw this, didn't really understand what it was, and hyped it up more than it should have been. Most people who were excited about this game did not play The Witcher 3. They didn't even beat The Witcher 3. So why they were excited about this made no sense at all. You don't even know what you're looking at. It looks cool, but I'm really frustrated. I knew this was going to happen. I called it. You look back at all our videos. Cyberpunk 2077 it has too much hype, and we need to relax so when the game comes out, it can be reviewed properly. Let's admit it. This is one of the most critically reviewed games as far as looking at something and nitpicking everything about it because the expectations were so high. It was. They were. There's no argument about that. The expectations were too high for this game. And I bet I'm going to play it. I bet it's going to be great. And it may be a 10 out of 10. It may be better than Last of Us 2 for me. I'm not going to make that opinion until I play it. And I definitely will before I give my opinion on what the game is. But I'm upset about this. This shouldn't have happened. People who overhyped this game for the sake of just it look cool never understood what they were playing. And for the, for the hardcore fans who genuinely cared about this game being great, I'm sorry for you. I'm not one of those people, but I have a couple friends that I knew they were looking so they were looking forward to this game. They put took time off work, and they want this game to be the best game ever. And it's probably going to look great. I don't know. I don't have a 38 graphics card, so I won't know. I'm sorry for you. 
I, wi I wanted this game to be tens across the board. I wanted all the people who didn't think Last of Us deserved to be Game of the Year, I wanted them to have something to question as far as what could be a potential Game of the Year. This sucks. I'm sorry for you. I'm not happy. I, these reviewers were all ready to, just, like, to destroy this game as best they could because they looked at it too critically. And it's our fault. We hyped it up too much. It doesn't make any sense. Like, uh, let's go through more reviews. Let's go through more reviews, and we're gonna see more of the same. I promise you. All right, let's let's see a few here. Uh, skimming through reviews, it sounds like it's aggressively decent, but fails pretty much where all the skeptics expected them to. Glad to hear it wasn't straight up awful, but I would have almost welcomed a nice wave of freshly angry consumers just to spice it. I don't know what that last part. Let's see. A fictional place has become my new reality. Perfect review. Great. Um, let's see more. Let's see. So it seems all the reviews are on the PC version. Cyberpunk reviews are pouring in, looking mixed so far. I don't even mind if a game is controversial. You know what's funny about The Last of Us? is The Last of Us is one of the most controversial games we've ever seen. Yet it was sitting at a 95% on Metacritic for the longest time. I... <laughs> This show, this channel is not about being right or wrong. It's not. This isn't about me. It's about games. But I was right about this one. And I, I, I maybe want to take a little credit for it. I told you that this game had too much hype. You know why Assassin's Creed Valhalla scores an 8 every year on IGN or Metacritic or Kata like whatever scoring system you want to look at? <clears throat> because nobody cares anymore. Because it's the same Assassin's Creed game over and over. And there's a little different here and there, but... The expectations for Assassin's Creed are next to nothing, and I think the game benefits from that. The expectations for this game were too high. I, it makes me really sad. I... Let's see here. Um, there's... Take a trip. There's a couple 10 out of 10s here. Um, I, I need to look at more of these, but... <clears throat> from, like, the first 10 I saw, there was something negative in the headline. And if for... I know that's either clickbait or it's you know, showing that the game's not perfect, but it makes me sad. It makes me really sad. I That's all I really want to say about it. I don't want to give my personal opinion on the game until it comes out. I don't think that's fair to the game. I have criticized a lot of games before they came out without even playing them, and I was wrong for doing that, and I will not criticize Cyberpunk until I play it. It comes out Thursday, I will be playing it. <clears throat> I am upset about the review. I don't want to say bombing, but um, I was right. This game had too much hype, it hurt it in the long run, and it's a real shame. And I hope moving forward, um, you know, we as a gaming community can kind of understand our, our place a little bit better. Um, not saying this game didn't deserve hype, but there were too many, there were too many of us expecting this to be the best game ever made, and that's our fault. <clears throat> we should have understood the CD Projekt Red has only made one masterpiece, and they had two tries before that to get it right. The fact that they were going to switch to this new gameplay style and all this other stuff, and to think that that was automatically going to be, you know, a home run, shame on us. I'm really ups I, I don't even know what to say. Like, the words are not even coming to me right now. These aren't the worst reviews. Cyberpunk is still a great game. It should have been a masterpiece. Or at least should have been... It shouldn't have been treated as a masterpiece before it came out. I bet if this game did not have the same hype, it either would have reviewed just as well, or it wouldn't be criticized the way it is. It is it is what it is. For all you who are about to play the game, I hope you all enjoy it. I'm really excited to get my hands on it on Thursday. Um, but for everyone else who is disappointed at the review scores and expected it to be higher or better, it's kind of on you. Sorry, not sorry. But thank you guys so much for watching, and keep on gaming.